Should Baker force feed the ball to Adele this season? No, he shouldn't force. He's never force fed the ball to Odell. Continue to do exactly what he was doing last year. He only got better in the second half of the season. Let's stop this narrative that OBJ was the issue with Baker Mayfield's play on the field. How about the Thank fact you. that there was no Thank OTAs? You. How about the fact that there was no real training camp? Everything was truncated. And how about the fact that it was a new offense for, I think, the third time in Baker Mayfield's short career? This was like his fourth head coach. He had to learn the system, get comfortable to do the things that they wanted him to do. You don't force feed the football to a receiver like OBJ. He'll get his because he'll work the people to get open. He'll run the precise routes. Landry's opposite him. But for whatever reason, individuals in this world of the media would like to point the fingers at OBJ as the reason that Baker Mayfield had success last year by him not being on the field. I am a living witness of that because I played the damn position. I get tired of when people try to say that receivers are begging for the ball, they're doing this, they're disruptive, they're all of these sort of things, when it's not factually true. You're good, they're going to get you the football. If you're not good, they're not going to get you the football. They're going to throw the ball to the guys that are good. And he just happened to be in a new system with a new head coach, both of them. When he got hurt, they started to get better the second half of the season because he started to grasp the offense. Simple and plain. That's all it is. So when I was off last week, I read a great book. Brought it in for Key to autograph. Key, what's the name of that book? Just Give Me the Damn Ball was the title. Go out and buy it on Amazon. I'm <laughs> plugging it again. And it's actually 20 written. something years later. It's an incredibly entertaining Royalties. book. And a title that is apropos. When you're great and you know you're great, that's what you say, especially if your team is struggling. Just get me the damn ball. I'll do the rest. I'll take care of it. Odell is that guy. He is that guy. Now, is he disruptive? I don't believe so. I know in New York with the Giants, we had the kicking net incidents and all that stuff that everybody makes a big deal about because he was showing frustration. He was showing frustration because his team stunk and he wasn't getting the ball. So that's all built up. But now, think about it. Baker Mayfield and Odell have a great relationship. He comes back off an injury, and already this offseason, what we're hearing about in his workouts is he's back to Odell. The speed, the cut ability, all that stuff. And we know he's got the hands. He's going to be a great weapon for them. And Kevin Stefanski has to figure out, yes, we are predominantly a run offense. Yes, Baker Mayfield probably best as a game manager. But I've got a weapon in Odell Beckham Jr. And I've got to use it. And I know I've got to keep him engaged, knowing that you're not, I'm not asking you to block all the time. I'm not asking you to be a decoy. I need you to be that weapon. And Baker's going to have to feed him. He's going to have to be able to get it to oh, him on God, target. Stop, huh? And that's going to be something stop. to watch with the Browns this year. Why have him out there stop. if you're not going to use him? No, and, stop. No, oh, no, stop. But it's man. reality. You, what else you is say, he out there for? You say you need Three time pro bowler you know and at 28 you know years old, keep, coming know, up injury, he's you know good. What I'm all set. I'm going to be a decoy now. You know what keeps receivers and all players happy? Winning, winning damn games. Winning games, if right. If I'm not winning, you better figure out how to get me the damn ball to help you win. But I anticipate that Cleveland will be winning. So it won't be a problem. I hate to cut you off, but I don't well, I can't did. sit here and hear you just keep saying, oh, he's gonna be frustrated. He's gonna kick a net again. No. I, didn't, I never said any of that. No, you need you to didn't, listen you didn't more. say that, but you implied I those sort of things what by I was... saying that they've got to force feed Odell the ball. Not when you're winning, you don't stop. No, I'm, you this, don't. Is so I'm not, good. this is not an Odell. Going. This is not an Odell thing. You're trying to make you see you're doing this whole you media thing, which you love to do with me. And I get I'm frustrated. Not, you not. media. This is what I'm doing. This is not the Odell perspective I'm giving you. This is the Baker perspective. I'm in the huddle. Swagoo, I'm in the huddle and I've got a cat. I've got it. I'm gonna say Cadillac because I'm an old man. I've got a Ferrari, okay, or whatever else I can think of. I can't afford those cars, so I don't name them like that. But he's sitting, I'm looking right at him. I'm thinking, man, I gotta get this dude the, the ball. Like, rolling. I gotta figure out how to get him the ball. I know the call coming in, but I'm gonna find a way to get it to no, Odell. It and Baker's gotta be careful not to not fall into work that trap. It's like that in the huddle. Mm. Swagoo, will you please educate my dude on what the huddle conversations are? I wanna keep Odell happy. I wanna make sure. Ah, I get him the ball. man. Yeah, listen, listen, hon, you better keep Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt happy, all right? And that's Kevin Stefanski's job. And when it comes to Baker and OBJ, I, listen, they're, they're, I'm almost in the middle with you guys because Key knows this better than you and I, hon. 
quarterbacks are going to look for their best guy in crunch time situations. I like that. That's just the normal procedure of a guy, especially when you build a comfort level. I thought the great thing that Baker Mayfield did last year was spread the ball around and answer the bell in a lot of those moments when you have to be really good at the end and down the stretch of games. If we if we go back to the Baltimore Ravens game last year when Lamar came and, and did Lamar things and was spectacular and the Ravens won that game. Every time Baker had the ball, he answered the question. And the question is, is not should Baker force feed Odell Beckham Jr. It's will Baker become blind in those moments just to Odell Beckham Jr.? I think that is what should be the question. And if he mm -hmm. does, I do think that's a detriment to the team as opposed to spreading that thing around or finding guys. And let's not forget, like Jarvis Landry plays for this team. That's a hell of a football player. You don't even have to force feed OBJ if you're Baker Mayfield. This is a Baker and Kevin Stefanski issue, though. This has nothing to do with Odell Beckham Jr. What Baker Mayfield experienced was Odell Beckham Jr. comes with the, the cachet and the ability to get open in matchups. But he also has to understand that he has other guys that can do that as well. And I like key point when you talk about the maturation process of throughout the season and learning the system and becoming more comfortable with it. Like, Baker Mayfield wasn't no MVP-level quarterback last year. He wasn't playing out of his mind. He played better than he played the previous year, and everybody went crazy. But the bottom line is when you get a guy back like this with this type of cachet, it's those moments. I'm not talking about the totality of a season. It's fourth quarter, two-minute drill. I got Odell Beckham Jr. Should I force feed him the ball because that's our best chance to win? Mm -hmm. I think Baker Mayfield is going to have to pull himself back and say, no, I got other guys. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.